I find myself back at home. After months of traveling, some great adventures with friends, really interesting and unique destinations, and some great fish catches. Storm, come on, Storm, let's go. But I always love coming home. And whether that was in Wyoming or now here in Vero. Girls, we're gonna stop and get a couple breakfast sandwiches. Okay, gonna okay. head down to Fort Pierce. And you remember where we called her those snook last time? Yes. We're gonna stop right there. All right, sounds All right. like a plan. Sounds like a plan, good. But the thing about coming home to Vero is the mullet run. It's a giant! That is a big water, I'm coming. Yeah. Woo! This is unbelievable. <laughs> this is insane. They hit still the, the, anchor anchor. the mullet run is one of the most spectacular spectacles in fishing. Look at them blowing up out here. <laughs> Look at it. Like if We're talking small. about not thousands, but millions of mullet on a migration from north to south, and everything ends up here in Florida. Oh, yeah. There's something bigger waking in them right there. Whoa. Yeah. It's not the mullet that we're fishing for. It's really all the apex predators that are targeting that mullet. Oh, we're right there. Oh, there he is. I'm leaving it open. Yeah. We're tripled up. Tripled up. It was like the Serengeti. Unbelievable. Peyton, what do you want to catch today? Oh, you want to get a shark. Look at the school of mullet right there on the corner. Oh, nice school of mullet. So to me, the fall means coming home. I love the traveling, but what I love more is being able to come home to the farm, to the family and the animals. Really super excited to be back with y'all and even more excited that y'all wanted to go fishing today. I have a relationship with my girls. It's fatherly and it's loving and it's wonderful, but it's also about sharing experiences. I think we're gonna head out and take a look at the inlet first. All right, that sounds good. Tide's coming in. Maybe some mullet are coming in the inlet. You know, all of us as parents have a responsibility to our children. And for me, I believe it's exposing them to as many things as I can and help them make the right choices. You know, one of the things that makes this area, that really makes it the fishery that it is, is having these inlets and then having the Indian River kind of is our is our inshore fishery. So it doesn't really matter what the conditions are. We've always got something to do. The unique thing that this area around Vero Beach has to offer, I have two inlets, north and south. I have the entire beach. The offshore fishing opportunities out of Vero can be great, but I always have the opportunity to come in and fish the river. You know, so girls, we're looking for what we've been seeing, those fish either breaking or the schools of mullet running from the fish chasing them. You know, both girls have gotten to catch a lot of fish, but for me, one of the most memorable catches that the girls have had, especially Peyton, was a, a bonnet head shark. You got it, Peyton! You got it! And what that was, was a fish that she did everything by herself. She saw the fish, She pitched the shrimp tip jig to that fish. She worked it in front of it. She got the bite. She set the hook. She fought the fish the whole time by herself. Experienced all of that and how proud she was of that moment that she knew she did everything by herself. That was the defining moment in, in fishing for her and knowing her, knowing and having the confidence that she can do it all by herself. I think it might be one of your biggest fish. Yeah, definitely. You're gonna take your finger off, you're gonna let that fish run. 
to about the count of three, okay? One, two, three, you're gonna close the bail and you're just gonna start reeling. As a father, I'm really enjoying spending time with my girls and watching them grow up. They're all out in here. This is kind of a flat out here on the outside. Up until recently, all of that has been stuff that I'm really comfortable with, but things are starting to change, especially with Haley. All right, so tell me about this party. The dance. Haley is now 15 years old and she is going to a party tonight. It's her quinceanera, so it's her turning 15. Oh, wow. So this is, is this a big deal? Yes. Sounds like they're gonna be boys there. Dance with <clears throat> boys? Well, I'm not sure how they <laughs> Well, I don't know, because there's a lot of stuff that I was sweating before, but I'm really sweating now. Well, I'm a little concerned about where this is all headed. So, you know, actually, Haley, I'm thinking maybe I should go to that party as a chaperone, just to make sure. But as a father, I believe that you just have to, you teach him the best you can and let him go. Unfortunately, she wants to quit fishing and go get dressed. I don't spend a lot of time at home much anymore. I love being at home, but I've been on the road literally 75 out of the past 90 days. So having the opportunity to take Haley and Peyton out with me was a really big deal. We didn't catch any fish though. There's one thing that I can guarantee about the mullet run is these mullet are always moving. It's a migration. You never know where they're gonna be. Now I'm meeting my buddy Ryan Weir and we're gonna take a run up the beach. The wind has totally dropped off and we're gonna go out there and see if the mullet are on the beach. Ryan! What's up, buddy? How's it going? Thanks for making the effort. Anytime. Anytime. Haley had to go to some dance tonight. Dance. So, yeah, so we only got a morning together. And I didn't get enough because we had tough fishing. So, really? Yeah, I want to go run the beach and see what we can find. Let's go check it out. Over the past few years, I've made a lot of good friends in Vero, and somebody's always willing to get in the boat and go fishing. Did you see the splash? On the beach or further out? It was like in line, straight, 12 o'clock. You sure it was a tarpon? It was a tarpon or a ray. The fish that get on these schools of mullet, everything from sharks, jacks, snook, tarpon. I've even had great kingfish on these schools of mullet in just six and eight feet of water. I mean, he said they were barely moving. He said they'd be somewhere between John's Island. Everything has to line up pretty perfectly to have a really good mullet run. And it's the first signs of the mullet run. I was hoping they were gonna be out here. You know, you may have a school that's there today and gone tomorrow. There are a lot of great things about living in this area. The fact that we can come out and fish the beach, fish the river, fish the inlets, and fish offshore. I mean, I've got four really diverse fisheries. I've spent a lot of time fishing the mullet run with a number of different people. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. The mullet run in Central Florida. Tripled up, that was unbelievable. Oh my God, you see the size of that one? Did you just throw it in the hole? Woo! <laughs>